Today's block bites deals with avoiding trauma when advancing a needle. The best way to avoid puncturing a vessel or the epineurum of a nerve, or even to avoid eliciting a paresthesia, is to always approach it at attention to the surface. It is vital, however, to be able to recognize when our needle approach is at risk of causing trauma before advancing any further. This is illustrated in this video of an adductor canal block. We can see something that looks like the saphenous nerve, just lateral to the superficial femoral artery. In this case, the asterisks mark the ideal targets to aim for. As the needle is advanced, note that the operator changes what was an optimal trajectory and is now aiming directly at the nerve. Fortunately, they are advancing in a controlled motion and as the needle presses forward to pierce the final fascial layer, it becomes obvious that they are indenting the nerve. If they proceed further, at the very least, the patient will get an unpleasant paresthesia and at worst, there will be mechanical trauma resulting in a neuritis and neurological deficit. The simple solution is to drop the tip slightly and pierce the fascia at a tangent to the nerve, watching it roll away as the needle is advanced. Injection of a small volume will also help to push the nerve safely away. Take home message here is always advance in a slow, controlled fashion and watch what is happening to the tissues at the needle tip as this will provide important clues as to whether this is a safe trajectory.